Once you've completed the workshop, you've got a whole lot of information and that information needs to be processed. So the coaching allows you to go out and have a crack, basically have a go. Go out there and, um, and try things and then come back and with your coach, go over the issues or the challenges that you might have so that we can sort of streamline the approach so that we can sort of take you to a new level, a new level of where you need to be, to, to be productive, to be professional out there. And in this day and age, you, you need to be able to think on your feet. If you can't think on your feet, it's very, very difficult to be at the higher end. And I always say that there's, there's three types of salespeople. There's your average type salesperson, there's your really good, and then there's your best, the top 3%. And I think a lot of people fall between this zero to 65%. You, the, the, the average good salesperson, I don't think there's, a, there's such thing as a bad salesperson. I think it's average to good. I like to focus on the on the positives. And when it comes to the really good ones, over 65% to say 97%, you know, they do things that are a little bit different. They go down areas of, you know, challenge. They go down areas where they're out of their comfort zone and they take themselves to areas where they've got to take a little bit of risk. They don't mitigate that risk unless they're they're well planned. And then the planning allows them to mitigate some risk, but but they still challenge them themselves and they have these big goals. And you know, goals are great. Uh, if the goals are too small, then you're probably doing something wrong and you're not challenging yourself enough. You need to have goals big enough to be able to strive for something. And it's it's all about trying to get to those goals. That's the motivation. The top, the top three percent, they do this so well that they can think on their feet. They can have a situation where they're looking at something that's that's really, really white. And they're going to something that's completely opposite. They could be talking to somebody about something and and have really good success. Then they move on to somebody else and use the same dialogue, but it doesn't work the same way. Well, they've got to work out the personality drivers, the behavioral drivers, you know, the key body language techniques they need to use, and they think on their feet. The advantage of the coaching sessions is it allows you to start to learn how to think on your feet so that when you're out there, you're a lot more confident. And the thing that's going to separate you from an average per, an average salesperson to a really good salesperson is the confidence that you have. The, the more confidence you have, the better you're going to be attuned to taking on new things, to, to trying new things. And that's how the coaching sessions work really well because your bottom line, your return on investment really escalates quickly. Revenue starts to go up, profitability starts to come up. And at the end of the day, um, the atmosphere seems to drive further and further and further north. Mm -hmm.